Hi, I'm Henry Sturgey, Director of Design at Silicon Knights. Uh, I'm here with Dennis Dyack, Director of 2Human, and Rob Porsky, Designer on 2Human. We're here to cover the skill tree classes. With the blessings of Odin and runes of protection, the Defender is the backbone of the Aesir's defense. So today we're going to talk about the Defender. Um, and in particular, uh, his first node in his group skill is uh, it decreases the amount of damage taken by all weapons. So when you power that up, that helps your whole group essentially making them tougher, uh, which is something uh, any party would want and would, would love uh, for co-op. Uh, the left path is uh, it's kind of like uh, the fire and ice path. So essentially, uh, you have uh, a proc here that you can you can administer that will actually freeze your characters in place, which is always great. It'll stun them um, and they won't be able to attack or move. Uh, you've got a spider uh, that it allows you to drop an ice mine that will further just freeze everyone in a very large radius. Um, and then um, the, the group skill um, in the battle cry gives you a shield that when enemies hit you, they freeze. And then to top it all off, uh, right at the bottom of the skill tree, uh, before the sentient weapon skill, you've got something where you can power up your laser. So you've got a, a lot of heat, a lot of cold, um, and it's it's a really, really interesting path. And one thing really cool about the, the free shield is that when you deploy that, enemies that hit you will actually end up frozen, so your, your, your co-op group mates can just come over and pick those guys apart. You can step back and start to kite enemies and use your laser now with your laser damage to pick those guys off. It's actually an incredibly versatile uh, shield. Yeah, very powerful, very powerful. Um, the center path is um, a path where it, it becomes your essentially your, your super armor path or your tanking path. And by just putting points uh, in here, um, it allows you, it increases your survivability as a defender massively. So here, the second skill actually, um, it, it's it's a chance that if you're really low on health, that the that the actually killing blow that should kill you just won't affect you. Um, and that, that's, that's some pretty interesting stuff when you think you're about to die, but this thing will keep you alive a lot longer. Um, and then we have, uh, we have the shield, uh, the shield uh, skill that uh, protects, uh, protects and absorbs damage, which is also very, very cool. Um, and uh, this is one of my favorite uh, battle cries, and this makes you immune to all status effects. So all kinds of polarities and enemies that have fire, poison, uh, radioactivity, you are immune to them for that period of time, and you can just waltz into things that would ordinarily scare scare anybody and just cream them. Yeah, and actually, one thing that's really cool about that is projectiles into human can also have uh, these status effects on them. So enemy snipers can fire ice beams at you. Um, you can get you know uh, uh, fire uh, bullets fired at you and stuff like that. And this actually helps nullify all those negative effects. Yeah, especially those nasty ice trolls. You know, <laughs> when they're attacking you, it's not good. It, changes, it also changes the way you play the game, you know, you usually uh, avoid uh, shooting dark polarities and now you can charge them up and use them to damage other enemies, it just gives you uh, a new uh, strategy while fighting. Yeah, that's really cool, the dark polarities are really scary, especially for guys that, that like to shoot, so, and that totally changes it around, so if you're teamed up with a commando, it can really, really help. Um, so in the last skill, uh, really, uh, you know, increases your armor bonuses across the board, which is a fantastic skill. Okay, and on the right-hand side, uh, we uh, essentially have the combat uh, defender, uh, who does uh, can do the most damage. And here, um, the first skill reflects damage back into the enemy. The the spider skill, which is one of, uh, another one of my favorite spider skills, it gives the laser beam. A laser turret to the spider, and that guy just destroys enemies. It's great on trolls. You can yeah, drop it. Yeah, one thing with this, the the laser is it has a high penetration value against some of the bigger enemies like the trolls and necromancers. So you can pretty much uh, put out that laser spider, and he'll help you. I mean, he can probably he can go through a bunch of trolls for you while you're picking off the little guys and stuff like that. It's actually a, a good way you could tank one troll with your defender while you have this thing pick off the other one. It's a it's a very versatile skill. Yeah, and, and the next, it, it really is probably one of the strongest spider skills it needs to be because the the uh, battle cry here uh, for the defenders is, is really a strong co-op skill, and it's a taunt. So if there's if your if your friends are uh, when you're playing co-op are about to die, you just cause you just fire this one off and all the enemies will attack you and they'll just ignore everyone else in the game. Um, and so that is really only useful for co-op, so it's really balanced, so this is really powerful on its own. Um, so it's a very neat skill. And then of course uh, you can increase your hammer damage and hammers are really, really good for defenders. Uh, they do really well with them, especially with a hammer and shield. 
Um, and uh, you get bonus armor and can do a lot of damage. So uh, that's the defender. And the hammer weapon types actually radius juggle your enemies. So the defender, because of his uh, hammer and shield uh, output, he's actually really good at serving up a spray of enemies for like the, the champion or the uh, berserker to finish off in the air.